guys, it's Megan and today I am going to do a get ready with me and I really want to do more get ready with me's in 2021 using products that I recently showed you, things that I haven't used in a long time, whatever I'm currently using or in the mood to use and today I'm really excited because I have been dying to use my Dior Tutu palette and this is just stunning. I love it so much and I have used it a few times but my shirt today is like a kind of like blue purple ombre type of sweater and it just made me think of this color um in this palette and this is so stunning and one of my best friends Chloe got this for me for Christmas and I will forever forever be grateful for her for so many reasons but for this palette because I just adore it and I'm going to do my current like base routine that I've been really really liking I also am going to use my new Chanel tweed pink blush that is just stunning and I wanted to show you guys, like, first and foremost, my bare, dry, oh, so dry lips. And this Lawless Forget the Filler Lip Plumping Line Smoothing Gloss. Could they name it, like, any more wordily? So this is a new product from Lawless, and I was sent this for review. And I don't know if you can see, but it looks like it's almost empty. And especially when you take out the stopper or take out the wand, it looks practically empty. And I have been testing this out a ton. And I wanted to show you my bare lips so you can get an idea what they look like before. And then when I apply it and as I wear it throughout this video, you can decide for yourself if you think it's worth it. But you don't get a lot of product for the money. Like I can see myself going through this within the next month and for a $28 product to only last like two months or less if you use it a lot because it feels amazing, that's up to you whether it's worth it or not. But I do love the applicator. It's like a really big curved thing. <laughs> And it's very like plush so I love this because it like hugs the lips and it smells like strawberries and cream it smells so good so I'm gonna stop talking so I can apply it because my lips are like so thirsty oh my gosh it feels so good going on and this applicator is so so nice and I would compare this most closely to the um grande lips the like clear hydrating lip plumper and i don't like this applicator i really hate this like little plasticky thing so i much prefer the lawless applicator and they're honestly very similar price points for the amount of product um and this one smells amazing uh but, and you will have to decide for yourself throughout this video, but I don't feel like it plumps my lips. Like, it obviously looks really pretty because it's a gloss and it's a really thick, luscious formula. It's not very sticky, but it does last on the lips really nicely. Um, I just don't think it really plumps my lips. I would say the Grande Cosmetics actually... I have noticed it plumping my lips and this one claims to be more line smoothing which I feel like glosses just in general kind of blur the look of lines on your lips but just keep an eye on my lips throughout this video but again I feel like you just don't get a lot of product. Also before we start my nail polish is phenomenal this is the essie unwrap me and this was actually a nail polish from last year's valentine's day collection so it has the really cute like over wrap on the bottle and this is one coat you guys it is amazing it is so vibrant yet like darkish like it's not a really light color it is so so beautiful and I bought this on Amazon so I'll link it below if it's still available. 
but let's dive in to the makeup and I always do my eyes first and if I have a lisp it's because I finally got my retainer so it's like a thicker material than the Invisalign but it's the same idea as an Invisalign where it's like a clear tray but because it's thicker it gives me more of a lisp and I only got it like less than a week ago so I'm still getting used to it but yeah so if you notice a lisp I am struggling through it a little bit so that was my Milani eyeshadow primer my favorite eye primer ever and then I am going into Dior Tutu so this palette I think is like the perfect palette if you love like purples I pretty much always start with this shade here which is like the most kind of crease color ish color that there is in the palette and I just go right into my crease and you can tell it's very nice and very pigmented um and this is kind of like a satin finish which I personally really really love and I have all these little specks of stuff on my face <laughs> I don't know what that's about um but this is just a perfect like starting point for any look and it's such a pretty tone like it's different than other crease colors that I have it's like rosy but not too pink I think I'm just gonna go in on the lid with the purpley kind of amazing I don't even know what to call this color honestly and since I am trying to use a, this Laura Mercier caviar stick and amethyst I'm going to apply this on my lid and this will also help the shadow be a little more vibrant because it will stick to it better than a bare lid and um yeah it just makes it more vibrant <laughs> basically so that is a great way to use like cream shadow sticks and I might go on with my finger but I think at first I'm going to apply it with a brush and I really love this brush the Morphe M574 because it's like a big pencil brush almost it reminds me of like the shape of our fingers so I'm gonna go into that purpley gorgeous color and there are little applicators in this palette but I never use them oh my goodness you guys look at that it's so stunning you guys and this brush or like your finger just really presses on the pigment so then that like metallic shine comes through it's like a taupey purple with a little bit of like a blue like shimmer to it oh I love it then I'm just taking my crease brush from before just kind of going over the edges and then I want to deepen up the crease just a touch and I love this middle shade it's like a rosy brown and I normally wouldn't pair this like all these colors together because I wouldn't think like rosy tones would go with like purple but it really really complements the lid shade so well And this little brush is the Morphe M506. One of the most essential brushes if you have small or hooded eyes. This brush just really helps place the color specifically in my crease. Literally, eyeshadow makes me so happy. And then again, just blending with that first brush. I love this palette because I use every single color. It is perfect so then I go in with this um, latest shade and this is like a white with a pink shift to it and I just put this right in my inner corner and this shade is the only one that's like a little powdery I would say like it's not as smooth as the other ones but if you like really blend it in it looks gorgeous and then I like to take the crease brush and just go towards that inner corner to make sure it's not like a harsh line or anything like that. 
and then I do my eyeliner and I'm really working on using up my <laughs> Charlotte Tilbury Barbarella Brown and this is one of my favorite eyeliners because it lasts so well and it's such a rich brown color but it's very 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 expensive so my other favorite brown liner is the house labs godiva pencil so this one is barbarella brown this one is house labs godiva but they serve the same purpose and the house labs is much less expensive so i always freshly sharpen the brown liner and then usually i start with the wing because i always do a wing liner so i just kind of make little strokes and especially if you have hooded eyes i like to go between kind of raising my brow and having my brow at rest to make sure the wing looks right both ways And pencil, I would say, is a lot more forgiving than liquid. Usually I use liquid liner, but lately I've been reaching for this pencil all the time. The more you do it, the easier it will get. And it's also all about your eye. Like everyone's eyes are so different. So just figure out what works best for you and just keep practicing. Then my last step for my eyeshadow. Even if I'm not using this palette, I always go in with this really, really dark, like, it's like a dark plum brown. It is so gorgeous. It's like a black brown with a little bit of a purple tint with a really tiny brush. And I just stamp it and smoke out the liner. And it just looks so good. Like this color just works so well with like the eye looks that I do that it doesn't matter what I'm what other colors I'm using this always just looks beautiful so I just like stamp it on and this is just a little brush that I got a million years ago from five below I love how it like smokes out the liner and just makes it look I don't know I just like the look of it better so that is pretty much the eye look and when I'm not like talking through it, it takes a lot less time. But now I'm going to move on to the skin and I'm going to use the Laneige Glowy Makeup Serum Priming Base thingy. It's like a primer serum um, and to be honest, I haven't used it very much since I bought it. I bought it back during the um, fall Sephora sale and it's like months later and i only just am really using it but this is like a very thin serum primer that gives a nice glow to your skin but it's not like oily so i don't know i like it i don't love it but maybe it'll grow on me and then i always use my bobbi brown vitamin enriched eye base this is my eye cream, so I already used it earlier, but I'm going to add just a teensy bit more because when I use it right before my concealer, my concealer always looks amazing. So I take a very tiny bit, like you barely need any, like don't like scoop it out. You just need the bare minimum because it's such a small area of your face and then just like tap it in and like spread it under your eyes and I'm not saying like I have major wrinkles or anything under my eyes yet but I do get like expression lines and I have some concealers like sink in to those lines throughout the day unless I use this this just acts like a hydrator and a barrier to your makeup from going into your lines it's amazing and my aunt sue got this and the vitamin enriched face base and she loves them so i just am glad that i can introduce like people of all ages to products that really really work and oh, i just love that stuff it's amazing so my favorite concealer lately is a rediscovery in my collection and i think i bought this when it was summer so it just didn't work for me 
but now that it's cold and you might be able to hear the wind it is so freaking cold here in Pennsylvania and I've been using the L'Oreal Age Perfect Radiant Concealer and I love this packaging it's just like so chic and like plain and I use the color 200 Ivory and this is one of the most gorgeous radiant natural looking concealers I've ever used so I always do concealer first so then you don't have to do as much foundation so I put that under my eyes and under my eyes is the only place I use concealer pretty much so I use this not only as like more coverage under my eyes but also to clean up my eyeshadow so like underneath the wing I use this to like clean that up so I'm just using the Real Techniques setting brush and she just blend it in and I don't know if you can tell there's a gorgeous sheen to it and it does like stick around that sheen um so if you don't like a more glowy hydrating concealer don't try this because it's going to be too glowy for you but if you really like a glowier look you like that kind of dewy look this is going to be phenomenal for you and I set it so it's not like as glowy and I just take some around my eyebrows where I get some redness and like my nose and I just make sure you really blend that in and it is just so natural looking oh my gosh it is stunning it is truly stunning so then I go in with my foundation and I am currently trying to use up my Giorgio Armani luminous silk and as much as this foundation is so hyped up so beloved I cannot make this work by itself and I just can't so I have been recently mixing it with my L'Oreal or er, <laughs> sheer glow and it works a lot better but I still have to put in a little bit of my white foundation because I swear the Giorgio Armani oxidizes like if I just put on my skin by itself my face looks like an Oompa Loompa and my neck looks like white so I realize I have to kind of mix a lot of things to make it work but what I do is since I'm trying to use this up I do two pumps of that then I do one pump of the NARS sheer glow and then I do a little two dots usually of the white foundation and that's what works for me obviously that's not gonna work for everyone but that is the combo I've been using recently and it works a lot better for my skin so like the finish is better and the color is way better like it doesn't look like my head is like floating above my neck <laughs> so I've been really liking the Jaclyn Hill Morphe JH03 foundation brush because it's huge and it's really nice to buff in foundation and always make sure to get like your ears and like behind your ears down your neck at least a little bit and I feel like the whole combination like the primer the concealer and then the foundation just goes together like they're all kind of the same vibe like the concealer is glowy the foundation is a little glowy it's just really a nice combination so that is the foundation or face like routine I've been doing and then I usually let this sit for a little bit and I do my eyebrows that's like what I've done for a while and I always clean out my brows with a q-tip I I think I've said this before but I don't understand how people can do their brows first and then their foundation like my foundation gets all over my brows so if you can do that you're a magician to me because I just don't understand um so I've been loving the benefit goof proof brow pencil this has lasted me so many months like a ridiculously long time 
and I've tried like twisting it up and there's still so much product. So if you don't need a super precise like skinny brow pencil, try like this goof proof is really good or like any um angled type of brow pencil if you have like already kind of full brows because it just lasts so much longer um but if you prefer like a skinny pencil obviously continue using that but i just think this one is a much better value if you don't have to like do a lot of precision work to your brows so i just fill it in and i've been having like a little bit of a brow crisis lately <laughs> like in my mind i feel like this one and it's just the way they are this one's always so straight across and this one has like a beautiful arch i think i just need to pluck a little more underneath but it terrifies me so i haven't done that but so we have the brows and then at the end after like powder and stuff i use the gimme brow and both of those i use shade 3.5 that is my perfect color okay so now that the face has been like set a little bit like it's not set with anything but i just like to make sure the foundation has a little time to like sink in um and then it's not like i don't know wet at all um, then I go in with like bronzer and highlight blush all that because I've realized that if I set my face with powder before all those steps those products don't last nearly as long so I try to let my foundation not be wet anymore and then go in with like bronzer blush highlight and then do like all the rest so Today I'm going to use the um, Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronze and Glow because I want just like a subtle um, like contour and highlight. So I'm going to take the Sculpt, which is like a really light contour shade for fair skin. And I'm using the Sony Kashuk Tapered Powder Brush. And these brushes are phenomenal. So I just do that, oh my gosh, in my lip gloss, gross. Um, so I just do that at my cheekbones and then I usually take it like down my neck and then I do my highlighter and I really love the Sonia Kashuk small point blush brush for the highlighter. And I just go right at the tops of my cheeks and above my brow. And this is one of the most like natural highlights I have. And I really like this when I use the Chanel Tweed Blush because that already has a sheen to it. So I apply that. And then I will go in with my Tweed Pink. I think you'll be able to tell that it still has some of the shimmer it's like the shimmer is throughout it it wasn't just on the top like an overspray like there was more on the top but there still is shimmer throughout so i'm glad about that so i just take this and this is a very very light light pink blush so on some skin tones it might just look like a highlighter on me it's like a very very pale pink highlight e blush and i really like it with this type of eye look because it's like wintry to me like to have a flushed cheek and then like a i don't know like a smoky eye so i've really enjoyed this so much and it's just a very pretty blush do my lips look any different <laughs> i feel like they just look glossy which i like but still i don't think it's really plumping necessarily now i'm going to set my face with powder and then setting spray so i love my hourglass um veil setting powder this is what i've been using and i'm trying to use this up and i have exclusively used this um bling brushes f1 stunning <laughs> like bedazzled brush as my setting powder brush so then i always know like i don't have like bronzer on it or something like that so i always make sure i don't have 
creases under my eyes and then I usually start like at the sides of my face like the sides of my nose and then I buff in this powder this powder is one of the most like natural setting powders I've ever used like it doesn't disrupt the look of the makeup like it keeps the highlight it like sets your face just enough so it's not like super glowy but it doesn't make your face like matte so I really really love this and yeah I just love it um so then I set my face with setting spray and as you've noticed I didn't do my mascara yet and that's because I don't like to do my mascara before my setting spray so airbrush flawless setting spray from charlotte tilbury love this stuff so much um and so this is just gonna lock in all the makeup and it literally will not move until you wash your face it's crazy honestly the only setting spray i believe actually works it is so good now i do my little brow gel the gimme brow and this is like the last step of my face and then I still have to do my mascara and lips that's just kind of like the final touch of the brows and I've been using the Dior show over curl mascara little mini Dior mascaras are phenomenal oh my gosh I just can't get over this mascara so I use that on my upper lashes and then I always use the MAC Extended Play Giga Black, Giga Back, wait, Giga Black, sorry, lash on my lower lashes. And this does not transfer at all. And it's just so easy because you just barely touch your lashes and it like fully coats them because of this amazing brush. Oh my gosh, I love it. Oh man, I forgot that I was gonna do my Marc Jacobs Lunatic eyeliner on my lower lash line, but I don't think I am. I kind of like it the way it is. So that would be like an added step you could do. Now my lips. So they obviously have this like stuff on them. So I like to take like a paper towel or napkin or something and blot them to get the majority of that off because it just interferes with like lip liner. So I'm going to use one of my favorite combos, like my favorite cool tone combo. And they're both like a combo from the drugstore. So it's L'Oreal Matte It Liner and then L'Oreal Shining Peach. So I first go in with the liner. And this is like a cool tone mauve. They just glide on so nice. Okay, so there's the liner. So beautiful, so nice. And then the Shining Peach. And so there is that lip combo. And then usually at the very, very end, I curl my lashes. Just make sure there's no like mascara on your curler. Just like wipe it off before and after you use it. Um, so then your lashes don't get like stuck to it. Um, but as long as you're very careful, I've never had an issue with it like pulling out my lashes. But this is the final look. And then afterwards I put in my earrings because if you put on your earrings before you do foundation, at least for me, I get foundation all over my earrings so 
don't do that but i love these earrings with this sweater and i'm about to do my hair so it's going to be like curled and everything even though it's looking pretty good straight today um but this is the final look and i love it this is definitely one of my go-to eye looks it's my current face like routine sometimes i use different blush bronzer highlight but for the makeup like the foundation and concealer powder setting spray this is what i've been doing and the lip combo is one of my favorites and i just love this tutu palette it is by far one of my favorite palettes i've ever ever had oh thank you chloe so much i love it so that is this get ready with me <laughs> and definitely let me know if there are specific palettes or other products that you want to see in action because like I said I really want to do these more often. Definitely let me know if you have any recommendations or requests and yeah I just love this makeup so I hope you enjoyed seeing this and I will see you guys very soon. Bye!